Hi everyone, let's try our hand at making a uh, fidget spinner because A, they'll be quick and easy to print up if we draw them well, and B, we'll get to experiment with circular patterns and fillets in this on shape um, computer aid design environment. So let's go ahead and create a new uh, document and let's call it spinner or fidget spinner or some, some such. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do once the workspace loads up is to, um, we are going to change our units to millimeters. So let's go to workspace units from this little menu right here. Workspace units. And let's change this from inches to millimeters. And hit the green check. Okay. Now, let's uh, start a sketch on our top plane. And let's look right at it. And I'm going to hit P to turn off those other planes. And I'm looking straight down at this thing. Now, I just looked up ball bearings for spinners, and they are 22 millimeters in diameter. So that's the first thing I'm going to draw, is that interior circle. And I'm going to just dimension that to 22 millimeters. Okay. Now, that, I want that to be a hole for the bearing to fit into. So I'm going to put another circle uh, outside of that as 30 millimeters. That's how I, I dimension that uh, concentric circle is 30 millimeters. And then I've got to get sort of a pattern, a circular pattern of three other holes around the, around the edges uh, to look like a traditional fidget spinner. What I think I'll do is I'll do them around a 50 millimeter diameter circle around the outside. So I'm going to go to my line tool and I'm going to turn it into a construction line I'm going to draw from the center point down, and since I'm deciding on 50 millimeters, I'm going to dimension this one as, this is the radius, uh, a radius of 25 millimeters will give us a, a diameter of um, 50 millimeters, of course. So now I will uh, hit escape to get out of that tool, and I'm just going to go back to my circle tool, and the bearings that I'm going to put in this thing again are 22 millimeters in diameter. Now, if that's a loose fit, we can come in here and change this to a 21 and, and fit them in. But let's just go with the actual diameter for now and see if it works. <clears throat> we'll print one and see if it works. And, and if that, if we need to change stuff, we'll change it. And if not, we won't. Okay, so, so let's see. Another, um, let's see, how about another 22 circle here? 22 diameter circle there to fit the bearing. And we'll put a 30 millimeter circle outside of that. 30 right here, three zero. Now we can take great pains and try to do that over and over again at just the right angles. But we've got something really cool here and it is this tool, circular pattern. So these are your patterns, linear, circular, and transform. So choose circular pattern if it doesn't default to that. And now we just have to choose the things we want to put in a pattern. So I'm going to choose this inner circle here, um, and that uh, did not choose. There it goes. Choose the inner circle. All right, put that. Put the inner circle here and here, and I can change how many of them I want. Right, but uh, right now I'm going with three, and I'm going to choose that outer circle too. Okay, and this little uh, mouse is showing me if I left click it, I'm going to accept that. Okay. And I'm going to left click it and I can accept it. So that looks good to me. So I'm going to, I'm going to click. And you'll notice right off the bat, these are blue. That means they're not fixed. If we started moving these, they could move and those would be left behind. So let's go up here and find our, um, our uh, not our, const our coincident constraint, but let's go down to fix. Right? We're going to fix the center of that to the workspace. And those turn black. You know, that's pretty much the sketch right there, I do believe. All we have to do is finish the sketch. And let's go to an isometric view so we get a decent view of this thing. And um, extrude. Okay, so we're going to want to extrude not to 25 millimeters, but about 10 millimeters or so. And I just want, to, I just want these outer parts to extrude, not the inner. Right? Just these outer rings. And that looks good, but... Um, I better, I better start with that part right there. So let's do the, that, and then this. It switched back to 25. I'll switch that to 10 in a second. 
All right, so that part right there, and this, that guy. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. I want to do that, and that, and that guy there. Oh, I didn't get that whole circle shoot. It's okay. Now I did, I think. Let's take a look. It's starting to look like a fidget spinner. A little too thick, right? So all we have to do now is make sure that it, we're extruding not so much. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, Got to change that to 10 millimeters. 10 millimeters. And back to my other view. And uh, let's finish that. Let's accept it. Oh, I just changed it to 8, 9, 10 millimeters. It is. Accept it. And there it is. Uh, I'm not quite finished, but I'm very close. We're going to have weak points. So we just use the circular pattern, but we're going to have some weak points where, where these hook up to there. And so we can use, we can fill that in. We can fill that in by doing, uh, well, what's known as, what's known as a fillet, right? So let's do the, um, let's see, the fillet is right here. And I would like this to be five millimeters. Sounds good. Right. And I can just fill that right in there. And I have to kind of scroll around here and click those guys, fill in those little cracks there with more material. Uh, get this guy over here, these two, that one. Again, be careful. Make sure you're choosing the right line. That one there. And I'm just missing these two on the side. Right, that there. And that one about there. Okay, so I fill in the whole thing. But I also want these edges to be rounded out a little bit. Uh, let me accept that. Okay, let me accept that. And now what I'd like to do is... Um, Gosh, I could, guess I could do it all at once, or I could probably just, let's see if this works in this program. Um, I would like to just, uh, I should be using an external mouse here. Uh, I'd like to just um, choose this whole thing. Let's see if this works. Choose the whole thing. And um, go to my fillet, do like a one millimeter fillet here, one millimeter to get all those edges and corners and stuff. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's perfect, look at that. A fidget spinner, right? And so now we will, um, I'll order some bearings. They're pretty cheap. They're less than a dollar each off Amazon. And so we'll get some bearings. I know that I just looked up the bearings. They're 22 millimeters in diameter. And we'll see if we can stuff them into these things. And um, if we can, then we'll go ahead and print them up and get them to you. And if we can't stuff the bearings in there, that's a pretty easy draw drawing assignment. If we can't get those bearings in there, you know, we'll change it by a half a millimeter in either direction to get it so it's a nice tight fit. But that should be it for a 3D printed homemade fidget spinner once we get those bearings. Give that a try. It'll be fun. And um, good intro to the circular pattern tool used for a lot of wheels and things like that and um, also fill it to kind of curve the edges and add material where there's uh, little sharp corners and stuff. Okay, very good, excellent. See you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.